The year is 1995, and the country is the United States. Some game journalists have just received a mysterious pizza box with an unfamiliar logo on it. Inside the pizza box, they found a press kit for Nintendo's latest JRPG. Saving the material from this press kit probably seemed pretty unnecessary at the time. After all, there wasn't all that much hype for this game going on, and it would soon find itself in discount bins across the country anyways. But little did they know, this game would go on to be a massive cult hit and practically the mascot of Rare Games. The game, of course, was Earthbound, and the press kits would be largely lost and its contents extremely rare. Very little official Earthbound merchandise has come to the states, but the press kits that were sent to game journalists of the mid-90s are an especially interesting case. These press kits, after all, would end up being the source of a lot of the rarest Earthbound merchandise out there. For example, there's a pizza box that's never been photographed, a pizza-shaped keychain, and a ruler, all valued at hundreds, together thousands of dollars. Yeah, I know, these are all pretty seemingly insignificant items, right? To think that they would cost someone so much is insane insane. But because Earthbound would eventually become the cult classic we know and love it as today, and because it got so very little attention and merchandise in the States when it first came out over here, the items in the Earthbound press kit would eventually take on a level of rarity that nobody ever would have anticipated when they first received the mysterious mock pizza box. Let's talk about the Earthbound press kit. This kit was put into a mock pizza box and sent to game journalists at the time, though there's also people who claim that they got some trinkets from the press kit either by working for Nintendo at the time or knowing someone who did or maybe having other connections to the gaming industry and being at the right event at the right time. We know the pizza box was a mock pizza box because, well, I mean, what else would it be? And there are reports out there saying that the rest of the press kit was housed inside of the mock pizza box. As of when I'm making this video, the pizza box has never been photographed, so we can presume that if on the off chance there's still any out there, the owner probably either doesn't know they still have it, or just doesn't realize the significance of it. As far as we know, inside the pizza box you'd find the game itself, a fact sheet, a newspaper clipping from Earthbound, a ruler, a scratch and sniff pizza shaped keychain, and possibly a pouch like thing with scratch and sniff cards in them. Of course, this also just might have been the container that kept the pizza keychain in it. Either way, these are all things that are pretty on brand with Earthbound. And yet, I still have to say, as far as we know, because, well, as the fact that the pizza box has never been photographed might have told you, the whole press kit has never been photographed together, and there's no definitive inventory list for the press kit. The list of items that was in it has been pieced together by fans over the years based on memory and fleeting and largely unarchived eBay auctions. So let's talk about the pieces that we do know more about, starting with the newspaper clipping. It was a fairly large clipping from the Earthbound Times and read, Pizza Aids Youth in Heroic Quest. It greatly resembles the newspaper clippings you'd see throughout the guidebook that came with copies of Earthbound, and it's dated May 31st, 1995, only days before the game's general release date of June 5th of the same year. If you read the clipping, it talks about how Earthbound is the first game to offer free pizza delivery and how, quote, no other video game combines great, easy to learn role-playing action with humor and values of family, friends, and financial responsibility. God, why couldn't the rest of Earthbound's marketing be this good? In any case, not only does this match with the guidebook, but it also does a pretty good job of selling what the game is. Way better than the commercials and print ads, by the way. And it was probably there to be cute, but also to give the journalist a few extra details about the game that just weren't in the fact sheet, since the fact sheet was more focused on talking about things like the game's price, the publisher, and gameplay features. All in all, it's a pretty clever way of selling the game while staying on theme. Nice. Anyways, moving on from the newspaper clipping, we have the ruler, and this is where things start to get a little expensive. The ruler itself is just a wood ruler with the Nintendo and Earthbound logos on it, and it said Nintendo Rules on the back. 
And it's cute and all, sure, but it doesn't really look like anything that'd be worth a triple-digit figure, right? Well, get ready for this. The first instance of one of these making its way onto the internet is on a post on Earthbound Central where Clyde Mandolin said that he received an email about one existing in either 1999 or 2000. The email itself was just someone saying that they got it from a friend who worked for Nintendo and that they wanted to show off this rare piece of Earthbound merchandise. The post later goes on to say that people didn't think much of it, in fact there were some people who didn't even believe him, that is, until another one surfaced in 2009 where a Starman user made a forum post about it. The next one to surface would be in 2010 when it went on sale on eBay and sold for an astounding $776. The next and most recent instance of one selling online that I can find is from 2017 where it's sold for a less astounding but still pretty impressive $152. But, like I mentioned earlier, eBay isn't the greatest at archiving its content, and not every ruler that's been put up for sale has sold. It's very possible that during this seven year period, others were sold or at least put up for sale. In fact, it's possible that some might have even been sold online through other websites entirely. But at the very least, those are the only two that attracted any substantial attention. Finally, there's this pizza keychain, this tiny pizza scented and pizza shaped keychain. For those of you blissfully unaware, the marketing for Earthbound really pushed the whole gross out humor thing in their marketing, particularly through the sense of smell. A lot of Earthbound related marketing smelled, the manual, the air freshener, even the game itself stunk apparently, and Nintendo wonders why this game didn't sell well. So a pizza scented keychain fits right in with the rest of what little promo material Earthbound Earthbound got. Like the pizza box, there was a lot of debate over whether or not any of these keychains were still around until one of them finally surfaced in 2012. It was included in a lot of other retro Nintendo keychains and it would sell for $535. Two more would surface in 2014 in the hands of a private collector whose mom owned a video game store in the 90s and got them as promo items from a Nintendo representative. This effectively confirmed that there were two different variants of the keychain. But it wasn't until 2018 18, then another two would go on the market, and they'd sell for $780 and $400. Like the ruler, it's possible that others have been sold online in the six years since we've seen the first one, but at the very least, those are the only auctions that attracted a lot of attention. But anyways, there it is! That is a brief history of the highly collectible Earthbound press kit, a set of top-notch collectibles most fans could only dream of encountering, much less owning. I find it so incredible, so fascinating that the holy grail of Earthbound collectibles are such small and, well, to the untrained eye, insignificant items. Like, that's just astounding, right? By all means, if you are currently or have ever been one of the few and lucky owners of any of the pieces of this press kit, please leave comments about it. I'm sure there's plenty of us who'd like to hear your stories about how you got your piece or pieces and what you've done with them. Did you sell? Are you keeping? Did you maybe throw it in the trash 20 years ago because you didn't think much of the game and now you're deeply regretting it? Hey, if you like Earthbound and you like calendars, there is an awesome Kickstarter called Batter's Almanac. It's an Earthbound calendar made by fans for fans. I'm leaving a link in the description. Go check it out. It's super cool.